you guys all had a great Easter, but didn't eat too much. Well, either way, we'll burn it off right now. So let's get started here, guys. We'll go through a little warm up and then we're gonna jump right in. So let's widen out the feet here, arms out in a T. You're gonna reach down for the opposite toe, bring it on up and over to the other side. All right, side to side here, getting that stretch down the hamstring, <clears throat> the calf. Couple more. All right, let's bring the feet together. Straight leg kicks right up to the opposite hand. All right, why not those feet again? Just a little bit though. We're gonna just hit those body weight squats. Get nice and low in these squats here, guys. <laughs> All right, back up, arm circles. Loosen up the shoulders, get bigger and bigger until you get as wide as you can go with those circles. And switch direction. All right, let's get a torso twist, side to side. Now while we're doing this one, guys, I'll kind of explain quickly what we're doing for today. We got three circuits, <coughs> three exercises per circuit. Our little, if you want to say focus for the day, <coughs> is going to be working on negatives. So nice and slow on the eccentric um, of, of, of a basic strength exercise. And then we're gonna use some bands today and some core cardio. We do have a core finisher at the end as well. So let's get into this guys. Circuit number one, I'm gonna show you the exercises for that and then we'll get started. So you will need your kettlebell and your band for this first one, actually for all of them, kettlebell band. So, <clears throat> First exercise, we're gonna focus on that negative, like I just said. Um, this is gonna be your negative goblet squat. All right, so we're gonna bring that weight right up to your chest. Okay, from here, as always, elbows nice and tight to the body, widen out the feet about hip width apart. Now the negative is gonna be the lowering portion of this exercise. So nice and slow on the way down. Okay, take about five seconds to lower down right into that squat, and then we're gonna just stand up normal speed, okay? So we're focusing on the lowering portion. Five, four, three, two, one, up, okay? Since we are focusing on slow on the way down, we're gonna do that one for a full minute. So exercise number one in each circuit is gonna be that negative, full minute. Exercise number two is gonna be 50 seconds, which, for this case is gonna be with your band. So exercise number two is going to be what's called a seesaw um, shoulder press. Now, I know everyone has different bands, um, some lighter, some heavier. I'm gonna show you two different ways you can do this. So if you have a lighter band, say maybe red or blue, um, you're gonna bring the, or you're gonna stand on the band with your feet, okay? From here, bring the band up to your shoulders. We're gonna press the band straight up. Now from here, seesaw press, we're gonna bring one hand down while the other arm stays pressed. Press that one back up, and then the other one drops down, up, down, up, okay? So there's always gonna be one arm pressed, and then you're just dropping the other arm down, alternating arms, okay? Now, I know this can be pretty tough if you have a green band, um, so what you can do is just drop right down to your knees, uh, bring your knees over the band, and then same idea, guys. So the band's underneath my knees. I'm bringing it right up. Press. Again, drop one arm down at a time. Alternate arms. Press. All right, so remember, this one is 50 seconds long. 
The last exercise is gonna be 30 seconds, so this is our core slash cardio. We're gonna hit a shoulder tap plank jack, okay? Combining the two exercises. So, I'll show you this one from the front. So, we're gonna do a shoulder tap and a plank jack at the same exact time, all right? So, starting in that high plank position, when you jump your feet out for that plank jack, we're gonna bring one hand up to your shoulder for a shoulder tap. Jump the feet back in, hand comes back down, back out, other side. All right, so speeding it up, it's gonna look like this. One, two, three, okay? So every time you jump out, your hand is right at that opposite shoulder. Jump it in, hand comes back down. Now, if that's a little too tricky for you, slow it down. You can either do just the shoulder tap first, so one, two, and then hit the plank jack for two or just stick to one or the other. If you'd rather just stick to shoulder taps the whole time or plank jacks the whole time, that's fine. If it's too tricky to combine them, just stick to one. All right, let's do this guys, back to the top. Um, negative goblet squat, remember, I want you to take about five seconds on the way down each time, no cheating, okay? Um, so a minute on, 15 seconds rest, and then exercise two, 50 seconds, 15 seconds rest, Exercise three, 30, then we're going through that two more times. So three total rounds per circuit, okay? Grab those kettlebells, negative goblet squat. Here we go, minute in three, two, one. Go for it, guys. Grab that weight right up to your chest. Okay, remember, five, four, three, two, one and up, nice and slow on the way down. Time under tension on those muscles the whole time. All right, normal speed on the way up, nice and slow down. Slow, 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 halfway there. Nice and slow. Let the weight sink into your heels every time. We got 15 seconds left, guys. Five, four, three, two, one. Grab your bands. Remember, guys, you can do this from the feet or from your knees. If your band is too tough, go down to your knees. All right, I'll show from the feet first. Alternating seesaw press. All right, so we're pressing up. Drop one arm down at a time. Down, press. Down, press. Don't mind my cracking elbow. It cracks every time I press. Now this one's 50 seconds. Take your time through it. Halfway there, guys. Remember, if it's too tough, go down to your knees. Wrap the band underneath the knees. 10 seconds. Two, one. All right, guys, down to the floor. Uh, shoulder tap, plank, jack. Combining the two, if it's too tough, just stick to either shoulder tap or plank jack. <clears throat> Three, two, one. Here we go, high plank, out, in. Every time you jump the feet out, you're tapping the shoulder. Ten seconds. Two, one. All right, guys, back to the top. Grab the kettlebells. Negative goblet squat. All right. Right up to the chest. Here we go, guys. Five seconds on the way down. Nice and slow, nice and slow. Fight it, fight it, fight it. Right at the bottom, boom, right back up. Ten. 
Take your time on the way down. Let the weight sink into your heels. Halfway there, guys. Fifteen seconds. Don't get sloppy on these guys. Keep that nice and slow pace on the way down. Four, three, two, one. All right, seesaw press. I'm gonna show this one from the knees this time in case anyone needs it. All right, so dropping down, the band's right underneath my knees. All right, here we go. Press it up. One arm always stays pressed. Okay, you're just dropping one arm down at a time. Burning out the shoulders here. Fifteen seconds to go. Relax your shoulders, don't shrug. In five, four, three, two, one. Shoulder tap, plank jack. Next, guys. Let's try to pick up the pace on these. I'll show this one from the side. Five, four, three, two, one. Ten seconds. Two, one. Bring it back up, guys. One more time through it. Negative goblet squat. One more time, guys. Nice and slow. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, up, nice and slow. Really focus on the muscles you're using. You should really feel it in those quads here. Halfway there, guys. Push through it to the end. Fifteen seconds. In five, four, three, two, one. Yes. All right. Band, seesaw press. Again, from the feet or from the knees is up to you. Now, if you are from your feet too, the wider you stand, the tougher it's gonna be. So if you do need to bring the feet closer together, that's gonna ease it up a little bit, okay? So the wider the feet, the harder it's gonna be on that press. There's gonna be more tension. Drop one arm down at a time. The other arm stays pressed. Ten seconds, guys. Fight that burn of the shoulders. Two, one. All right, drop it down guys one more time on that uh, shoulder tap plank jack and then we're moving on. 
in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Eight seconds, right to the end. exercises, um, more so of a basic strength exercise, nothing too intricate, so you can really focus in on the muscles that you're using, okay? So, exercise number one, that negative exercise for this one is going to be, oh wait, I'm sorry, I'm looking at the wrong one, negative push-up, we don't need any weights. So, coming down, I know a lot of you guys know this one, so, Starting in that high plank position, so as, as you would normally set up for your push-up, okay? Feet together, arms apart. Now from here, just like that squat, we're taking five seconds to lower ourselves down to the mat. All right, so count in your head or out loud, wherever you are, five, four, three, two, one. When you get to one, your chest should be all the way down on the mat. You should be able to lift your hands up, then from here, you can now, extra challenge, you can push up from here or reset onto the knees, then pop it back up for the next one. All right, so again, five, four, three, two, one. All tension should be off your hands. Reset, pop it up. Five, four, three, two, one. Reset, pop it back up, all right? Um, so again, just focusing on that lowering portion. That's our slow portion of it. Um, if you do want to push it right back up from that negative, go for it. Remember, we are going a full minute, so those arms are going to get a little shaky. Um, so next up, we got our push down there. We're going to get our pull with the band. So grabbing that band, guys, we're going to loop it just like this. So both bands, or the band is pulled tight. You're going to let the band fall to the floor, okay? We're stepping over the band with both feet, all right? So you should have both sides or loops of the band in, your, in either hand, all right? Now from here, we're going to stay bent over. We're going to hit our bent over row. So from this position here, guys, we're pulling right in towards the rib cage. Elbows stay tight to the body and then release, okay? Pull and release. Notice... My back is staying exactly where it is the whole time. I'm not pulling up with my back. I'm pulling with my arms and then releasing. Show from the side, okay? Back nice and flat, head, neck, and spine stay in alignment. Okay, from here, pull and release. Pull, release. Same idea with this one, guys. The closer your feet are, the easier it's gonna be. The wider you step your feet, the harder it's gonna be, okay? If you have a really tough band, let's go one foot on the band, okay? So instead of both, just have one foot on. Same idea, okay? It's gonna relieve a lot of tension if you need it. Um, the last exercise, cardio. We're gonna hit a lunge jump right into a squat jump on repeat. So lunge jump, lunge jump, squat jump. Lunge, lunge, squat, lunge, lunge, squat. Okay, so we're going to keep going. Lunge, lunge, squat for that last 30 seconds. If you need to modify, as always, guys, just step back, step back, squat. Step back, step back, and squat. All right, that's it, guys. Let's get ready for circuit number two, negative push-ups first. Okay, so all we're going to need is your body in the band, okay? No weights for this next one. All right, so a minute, guys. Take your time on the way down. Here we go. Three, two, one, go for it. Five seconds, lowering. Three, two, one, reset to the knees, pop it back up. Nice and flat with your back, your hips 
should not come down first. Your chest should come down first. All right, so no hip sag, no hips up here, nice and flat. My chest hits first, then I reset. Halfway. Nice and slow. Fight it on the way down. We got 10 seconds, guys. In five, four, three, two, one. Let's bring it on up. Grab your bands, bent over row. Remember, grab each side of the loop. Step over with both feet. If it's too tough, just step over with one foot. Two, one, and go. Pull in, release. Elbows stay tight to the body. Remember, we're not pulling up, we're not standing up at all. Okay, keeping this position the whole time through. Really squeezing those shoulder blades as you pull back. Halfway there, guys. Take your time through it. Again, really focus in on the muscle you're using. Focus on that upper back. Seven seconds. Two, one. All right, lunge, lunge, squat, jump. On repeat, lunge, lunge, squat, lunge, lunge, squat. Here we go. In five, four, three, two, one. Here we go, guys. Lunge, lunge, squat. Lunge, lunge, squat. Keep that pace. Modify if you need to. Two, one. Rest, back down to the mat, negative push-up. All right, round one done. Nice and slow on the way down. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go, guys. Nice and slow. Reset onto the knees, pop it back up to the feet. Right, back. 
back to our lunge, lunge, squat, jump. Ending round two here, then we got one more time through, guys. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Lunge, lunge, squat. Fight that burn, guys. I know we're feeling it in the quads. Two, one. All right. One more time through this, guys. Then we got our last circuit. All right, here we go. Negative push up. Three, two, one. Here we go. Nice and slow on the way down. Fight it all the way to the mat. There's that halfway mark. Stay nice and tight. Glutes and core are squeezed. Here we go, final 10. Four, three, two, one. All right, grab those bands, guys. Bent over row one more time. Show from the side again. Remember, the wider you step your feet, the harder it's going to be. Halfway. to be our RDL, Romanian deadlift, um, with the kettlebell. But as always, if the kettlebell's too heavy, we use a dumbbell. So for the negative RDL, again, focusing on slow on the way down. Okay, I'll show this one from the side. Feet are a little bit more narrow than your squat. Toes are pointed forward from here, guys. Maintaining um, that tension in your shoulders. So shoulders down and back first. We're gonna maintain that, and then hips go back. Five, four, three, two, one. When I get to one, I'm hovering right above the floor. Not all the way down to the floor, hovering. That's an, a Romanian deadlift, okay? From there, hop back up, okay? Five, four, three, two, one, up, okay? So again, really focusing 
on the muscles that you're using. So we're really focusing on hamstring and glute here on the way down. Okay, keeping that tension and then you're gonna squeeze your glutes to bring the hips forward, okay? That is number one. Number two, with the band, we are going to do a band hammer curl. So again, it's all about where you place your feet of how hard this is gonna be. Both feet on the band, on the bottom, okay? You're gonna grab the outside of the band for this one, okay? So your palms are facing each other, thumbs are pointed up towards the ceiling, and then from here, elbows stay tight. We're gonna do a hammer curl right up to the shoulders and down. Those elbows stay pinned to your side the whole time through, okay? Up and down. Now, as always, like I said, the wider your feet, the harder it's gonna get on the curl. All right, it's gonna be a lot more tension as you pull. So if you need to widen it out, widen it out. If it's too tough with both feet, if you have a green band, it's too tough, just go one foot on the band. Same idea, curl up, curl down, okay? So always different ways you can make it harder, easier. All right, the last one, some people love it, some people hate it. Pull apart jacks. So you're gonna keep that band, all right? We're gonna hold it with both hands overhand grip. Now for this one, the wider you grip, the easier it's gonna be. The closer you grip your hands, the harder, all right? So this one's our 30 second move, all right? Um, standing up nice and tall, arms out in front, they're gonna stay straight the whole time through. We're not bringing it in at all. All you're doing is you're jumping the feet out, pulling the band apart. Jump the feet in, band comes in, jump out, band comes out. So you never want to lose tension in that band, which meaning I don't want you to bring it all the way in like this. I'm losing the tension. I don't want that. I'm going to come right about there, pull out, pull it out in. Okay. And then just hit one right after another, really smoking that upper back, but getting that cardio in there as well. Okay. If you need to take that jump out, step out in, out in with each pull. That's totally fine. All right, guys, let's do this last circuit. Then we'll hit a little bit of core. All right, Romanian deadlift, a minute. Remember, slow on the way down. All right, here we go. Grab those kettlebells in three, two, one. Go for it. All right, again, from the side, nice and slow, slow, slow. Right above the floor, boom, pop it right back up, slow. On the way down, I'm feeling that stretch in the hamstrings here, and then I squeeze to come back up. Shoulders down and back. Maintain that neutral spine. Make sure our chins are staying tucked and not looking forward. Nice and slow on the way down, guys. 20 more seconds. In five, four, three, two, one. Grab the bands. Band hammer curl. So we're stepping at the bottom of the band, both feet, or one foot if your band is pretty tough. All right, grab the outside of the band. Thumbs up towards the ceiling. Elbows tight. Curl up and down. Make sure you keep your core super tight here too. It also helps to keep the glutes squeezed. That's gonna help maintain good posture. Not compensate with the back at all. Also, if you need to make it more difficult, you can grab further down on your band. Nice tight grip the whole time, guys. Ten more seconds, and then we're gonna hit those pull apart jacks. In five, four, three, two, one. All right, here we go. This one's gonna burn, guys. Fight through it. Overhand grip. Remember, jump out, jump in. Um, pulling out with the jump. Three, two, one. 
Here we go. Probably gonna lose my ponytail on this one. Remember, don't ever lose the tension either. I want you to just pull out and then come back in just before you lose that tension. You should be feeling this right in the upper back. Two, one. All right, back to the top guys. Negative RDL. Show it from the front this time. So you can see about where I'm coming, right above the floor. Two, one, here we go. Nice and slow on the way down. Remember guys, your toes should be facing forward. You should have a pretty narrow stance, not as wide as our squat. Down and squeeze. Five, four, three, two, one, squeeze. As Jonah says, squeeze the oranges in the armpits. It helps to keep those shoulders back. Fifteen seconds, guys. Five, four, three, two, one. Up. Grab the bands. Hammer curl. All right, here we go. Stepping in. Outside of the band, thumbs up, elbows tight. Keep going, guys. Squeeze at the top before you release. Don't just let your arms fly down. You want to fight the tension on the way down too, as well as the way up. Five seconds. Two, one. All right, pull apart jacks. Do it. I know some of you are like, oh. We got this. 30 seconds, that's it. Two, one, let's go. Out, in. I'm not losing tension in the band. I'm pulling right across the chest. My arms are staying straight. Really focusing on pulling or squeezing my shoulder blades as I pull. Two, one. All right, guys. One more time through. Negative RDL. All right, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and squeeze. Keep those shoulders back the whole time, guys. Even when you get to the bottom, you shouldn't just let your shoulders fall forward. Fifteen seconds. And five, four, three. Two, one, up. Grab the bands. Hammer curl.
All right, here we go, stepping in. Outside of the band, thumbs up, elbows tight. Keep going, guys. Squeeze at the top before you release. Don't just let your arms fly down. You want to fight the tension on the way down, too, as well as the way up. Five seconds. Two, one. All right. Pull apart, jacks. One more time, guys. Come on, you can do it. I know some of you are like, oh, we got this. 30 seconds, that's it. Two, one, here we go, guys. Jump it out, in, out, in. Keep that pace, keep that pace, guys. Fight the burn. each. So 30 seconds, 30 seconds, 30 seconds, but then we're going to have a 30 second break before we go back to the top. Okay. So straight through 30 seconds, break for 30, then back through three times through. Okay. Um, so the three moves, actually one second, let me just get the right timer set. All right. Core finish your timer. Okay. So, the three moves, okay, on your back for all three, all right? First one, straight leg reach, okay? So, what we're going to do is we're going to have the leg straight up towards the ceiling, all right? Now, arms are going to stay on either side of you. You're going to come up and try to reach as far as you can past your butt, and then all the way back behind your head, up and back, up and back. Breathe out as you reach each time, okay? That's gonna be number one, 30 seconds. Number two, reverse crunch with a hip raise, okay? So we're gonna bring knees to chest, hips up, and then heels down. Hips up, heels down, all right? So we're bringing the hips up, tap the heels to the floor, and then right back up. I wanna see those hips lift way up towards the ceiling, and then tap those heels right down at the bottom every time, okay? Get those feet way up there, and then tap the heels. Exercise number three is gonna be our bicycle crunch, opposite elbow to opposite knee. Goal is to try to get that elbow to the knee each time, going from side to side, okay? And then we rest for 30 seconds, and then we go back to the top. All right, let's do this, guys. Core finisher. So start with those feet straight up towards the ceiling. We're reaching up past your butt and then right back down. 30 seconds each. Here we go, guys. In three, two, one. Legs up. Reach. Reach. Breathe out as you reach each time. You got five seconds. Three, two, one. Right into it, right into it. Hip up and down. Tap the heels to the floor each time. Hips up, hips down. My hands are right on either side of me. I'm getting those hips way up. Each time, 
Working that lower core. Keep breathing, guys. Worst thing you can do is hold your breath. Two, one. All right, right into those reverse crunches. Hips up, tap the heels. Hips up, tap. Fight that burn, guys. Two, one. Here we go. This is it. 30 seconds. Bicycles. Push through, guys. Push through. Nice job, guys. 
Wow, my abs are on fire. Hopefully yours are too. So enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Jonah's up for tomorrow.